The future for the senior living industry is incredibly bright and incredibly promising. Changing the paradigm was the idea. I wake up every day with zero doubt in my mind that what I'm doing is changing the world. We are entering a new age in senior living with industry leaders innovating bold new strategies and tools to ensure their residents receive top-of-the-line care while experiencing comfort, safety, dignity, and quality of life. At every level, Argentum's members are powering this revolution. Senior Living 2.0 coming on down the pipe. The rules of the road are going to change. Healthcare has changed and we need to change with it. Senior Living 2.0, the synergistic result of industry leaders like those in the Argentum ecosystem who are remaking the world for today's seniors. What we do day to day is about culture and it's about people. Each and every one of our residents is on their own specific individual journey. So we really thought about what's most important and three things came to mind, residents, family and employees. And if you understand the relationship, you understand the intimacy of that relationship. As Argentum members know, these industry advancements are often inspired by our own loved ones. Because I had some of my own experience with my own family members that didn't go quite as well. All the women on my mom's side of the family have Alzheimer's disease. I decided to create Belmont Village as a function of discovering the acute care needs that my mother-in-law had. That's what gave rise to the dream of Belmont Village. These senior living communities of care are remaking lifestyles down to the detail, enhancing everything from critical medical care to the shared meals that are such an important part of the residents' social lives to the art of finding the perfect fit for each individual resident. We have built an on-demand emergency room. We have built an in-home hospitalization product. We have built an in-home skilled nursing facility product. And we can bring all of the ancillary services like radiography, ultrasonography, and lab when you need it. And as chief medical officer, my top priority is in improving um, and maximizing the clinical care that we deliver to our residents. The reason we work with Dispatch Health is to improve the quality of care of our residents. We can bring the ER visit, the urgent care, directly to our residents. And we found it's made a huge difference. As new generations are moving into our communities, they're a lot more foodie. So then you have to find a balance between good comfort food and what's trending now. Morrison really understands that residents need to have influence in their community and need to have influence on what happens in dining services and so welcomes participation of residents and residents aren't just people who are recipients of services but but play an active role in creating what the community can be. When you're in crisis it's really hard to make a really clear decision and so it's really helpful to have somebody who knows and understands the lay of the land to help guide you in that process. It bothered me to watch some of the uh, seniors really struggle where they were. I figured that families use real estate agents to find homes why wouldn't they use someone to find assisted living when you know they really need to find the right place? As the number of aging Americans rises and the need to identify exceptional team members becomes critical, Argentum's members are at the forefront of recruiting and training the strongest possible workforce. Over the next several years, our industry is gonna need more than one million additional workers. We're in the midst of the silver tsunami where we have 10,000 people turning 65 every day for the next 10 to 15 years. We're an aging nation. ARENA is on a mission to fix the labor market. We overlook a lot of really talented, gifted people who would actually be better. Data and technology can help us avoid that. We see this really great symbiotic relationship with taking care of our team members who then take care of our residents. You get the right people and you're gonna be successful. And I think whoever picks the people here does a an outstanding job of it. A key part of developing this workforce is discovering new ways to increase diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplace. The senior living industry's joint efforts to grow new leaders will help drive innovation, creativity, and positive change as the industry competes with the broader service sector for top-tier talent. The idea was that because we were in a hospitality school and so much of the model in senior living is about 
hospitality and service, that there could be some collaborations there. And we started talking about what could be, and it became very exciting. We take a look at it holistically. We need to develop programs, training programs, career pathing, and apprenticeship programs for frontline caregivers, but we also need to work to make sure that we're advancing women into management roles. We're also an incredibly diverse workforce and need to do more to make sure that we're moving those individuals into management positions as well. Be the new executives, be the new corporate heads. Breaking into that industry immediately is really going to set you up for success going forward. And senior living leaders are retaining these team members by illustrating the deep satisfaction of taking on these fulfilling, purpose-driven roles and building compassionate, active, exciting communities of care. Working in the field of senior living is the absolute best career option there is. It's true community. From the CEO, culture keeper down, and from the frontline staff up. Everybody here is very proud of what they do. That's pretty powerful. That's a big, wow, what a great way to earn a living. Today, senior living is solving unique challenges, empowering teens, and creating desirable lifestyle options through embracing new tools. Part of MBK's DNA is innovation. And especially during the pandemic, we saw innovation through technology really take off. Providers are introducing state-of-the-art technologies that can reduce social isolation, including using virtual reality to create bonds among residents through shared experiences. So basically, residents put on these headsets and they can go wherever they want and they can do whatever they want. It's a common myth that seniors and cutting-edge tech don't work. Within just two weeks of doing these daily VR sessions, people had statistically significant decreases in depression scores, increases in multiple measures of social health. Most interestingly, people actually started to trust each other more. It just makes me feel alive, really alive again. This is a service industry, right? We're only as good as our last client experience. Today's luxuries are tomorrow's standards. We've got to continue to stay ahead and, and expect that demand. That's why we're always looking for better technology, the industry is also incorporating the latest in artificial intelligence to enhance safety. Folks with Alzheimer's fall about twice as much. One of the big reasons for that is that they can't necessarily learn from previous falls. So they have this very high rate of repeat falls. So if we can see how a fall happened, provide interventions, then we can make really meaningful changes often before significant injuries are happening. It was difficult, near impossible, to determine when people fell what the cause of it was, the extent of it and Safely You has really eliminated all the mystery behind that. It definitely does give families a peace of mind. I think there's no question. In addition to building a world-class workforce and preparing them for the future, industry leaders also collaborate to achieve strategic financial goals. So we really want to be known as the investment bank that helps drive quality of care, that helps drive new initiatives in the industry, that helps drive new research. In today's world, investment in soft infrastructure is top of mind for policymakers at the state, local, and national level, and Argentum is a leading voice in those conversations. The best way for the industry to ultimately speak for itself is to actually speak for itself. Policymakers really, they set the rules of the road for it, and so it's really important for them to be part of the solution. Argentum's really been leading the efforts to shape discussions with policymakers on the future of senior living as it relates to public policy. And this fall, Argentum invites you to join us in telling these stories, your stories. We're partnering with communication strategy leader DBase Media to illuminate the expertise and dedication of the community behind the community in senior living. Anybody who can see me around them can feel that I really love them, I really respect them. The moment that I complete a dish and go and take it out to one of our residents and set it on the table and see their reaction and their smile, it just makes my day. These are the stories of the tireless professionals working to ensure that the generations who built our society continue to thrive. At Arena, we believe that people are the real competitive advantage for any organization. If you get the people right and you treat the people right, they will deliver on an organization's mission in ways that the organization itself probably never imagined. What makes us different is we have a very bold mission, a strong purpose. We try to strive to make sure that our residents live that long and prosperous life that they strive to do. In today's challenging times, these are the stories of heartening resilience and strengthened connections in our communities.
We had one woman who was treating a patient before Memorial Day, and the woman said, this will be the first time that I haven't been to my husband's grave on Memorial Day. She couldn't go out during COVID. Well, our therapist that day took her two little boys with some flowers and found that man's grave and took a picture of those two little boys saluting. They are stories of how leaders leveraged innovation and senior living techniques and technology in ways that enriched and enlivened our industry. This is my dream, Do, seeing these experiences of these residents. And they are the stories of how our industry continues to encourage authentic partnership, fortify bonds, and rejuvenate communities. I think senior living is a calling. They paved the way for us, and we're so lucky to be able to be a part of their lives. Our mission is to harness all of the possibilities that the gift of old age gives in an environment where people can live, continue to learn, grow, and prosper. This is such incredibly meaningful and purposeful work. And for young people today, that matters. They don't want just a job and a paycheck. They want to know that the work they do every day matters and makes a difference in someone's life. And what could be more fulfilling than senior living? This is definitely just the beginning. I think there's a lot of work to be done. We're really excited about all the opportunities ahead. It's a business that makes you feel good about what you've done. So you're able to make a great living taking care of people. It's extremely fulfilling.